think it's really important to show the South Side of Chicago and any community like this, you know, to show the people that inhabit this world and show that just that they're there, they're living their lives. Yeah, I just think it's universal. Just because it's happening in one place doesn't I mean it's not happening anywhere else, you know. So I just feel like people who have a heart, have a soul, can see this and then identify that, yo, this is going on on their doorstep or anywhere on the road. So I just feel like, yeah, we're just trying to, yeah, just trying to make something that people can feel and hopefully relate to, but also just have a heart and so on, have the empathy for all these characters. And then if you can have empathy for the character, then you can have empathy for that someone's going through in real life. So, yeah. Now, do you guys find that either more challenging or more pressure put upon you because you're trying to show this and some people are, are a little maybe hypersensitive? I just feel like that's what art's supposed to do. Art's supposed to provoke something, you know what I mean? It's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to provoke feeling, thought, you know what I mean? That's what we're here to do. So sometimes you just got to have, it's, it's, it's better to be faced with the harder pill to swallow than just having, you know, the, oh yeah, I want to be entertained and stuff. But it's like, bro, that's what we're here to do. We're here to shake up stuff and make people think. So, um, yeah. No, I also, you know, I also think one of the things the writers did that was so brilliant is, you know, it's a little bit of hiding the medicine, you know, in the food. There's, it's ultimately a thriller, you know, and um, we were watching it yesterday and I've seen all of these episodes many times and it's still at the end of the first and second episodes, like heart racing, you know, what's going to happen next, even though I know it. So hopefully people, you know, can access the thriller part of it too. And so now you're shooting for two seasons already how exciting is that knowing that you've got two things already ready to go ready to come out and now this one's finally making its way out hey, you ain't got uh, you ain't got a plan for next year you can just <laughs> focus on the year you've got you know you know you're good for that year you know what i mean so yeah it's good to have you know uh two seasons locked and loaded but then also we had access to some of the scripts earlier on so i think the pandemic kind of helped with that having scripts beforehand so then you can kind of just prep a bit more and just find out what's working and what's not working and just help your arc a bit more and make sure it's a bit more detailed and to make sure that, I don't know, I had a bit more of a meticulous kind of approach to it. So just making sure that everything is working and aligned in the way it's supposed to be in order to tell the story in the correct way. And to be working with such a phenomenal cast, does, does that just make the job so much easier and fun to do? For sure, man. Um, at first, you know, you get quite, quite intimidated. You're like, wow. Like, I'm working with people like Courtney and you got Holt, you know, they've been in the business for like forever, you know, so I don't know, man, it kinda it kinda makes you put on your big boy pants and like, you know what, I've got I've got to get to it and get busy and it just makes you more prepared, innit? And it makes you feel like that you belong in a sense, you know, you're, you're here, you belong here and mm -hmm. you're working with people who know what they're doing and you can just kinda take some ideas and take their approach. Like even Courtney, the way he leads the show and the way he is on set and he just leads everyone in the right way. He sets the tone in his own pace, gentleman, honorable. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, you know, when I grow up, I might have to, <laughs> I might have to add that to the repertoire and stuff like that. So yeah, man. He can't say it about himself, but Tosin is also fantastic in the show. I appreciate that. You're welcome. That's the yeah. Thing she ever said about yeah. Me. <laughs> He asked me to say that. No. I'm just <laughs> slip you that 20 right Thank you. Appreciate, <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. And, and now, now it's finally here. What are you guys most excited for people to see now? Just everything, man. Just everything. Just how, see how it all comes together and just see, like, how they react to the journey. You know, it's, it's a roller coaster. It's, 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 it's twists, it's turns. It's, you're on the edge of your seats. You know what I mean? So it's just like just seeing everything and just hopefully that they feel even what we present to them that they can feel and they can just apply it to real life, you know? And I'm just excited for people to see work. Also nervous, because you're like, <laughs> least like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man, um, yeah, just, just excited for everyone to see the journey and, and, and just connect with the characters and the story. Yeah, yeah. The, the story has such a long journey. It's been six years for Peter um, since he first conceived of the idea. And I think I've been working on it for four. And so it's it's, always you know really fulfilling to have something that's been that long in the making out in the world but I, I also just think that you know it the story challenges you in ways that are really original and that we haven't really seen told in television on this way and so I just am really excited for what conversations are going to come out of it for people.